Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub, and today I want to show you a really amazing platform for building your own AI tools that you can use for SEO. You can use them for a number of different things. Uh, the platform that I'm going to show you today is called Taskade. And before I dive into that, make sure you head over to the SEOPub.com, sign up for the newsletter there where I send out tips like this every single week. We also have a free Slack community you can join. In there we have SEO discussions, you can ask questions, there's a lot of other SEOs in there, it's completely free to join. So let me show you a simple agent that I built using Taskade, and you can think of agents as very similar to ChatGPT's GPTs, but they have some features that make them a lot better than GPTs. And this is a very simple agent I made, it's just a kind of a knowledge-based agent which will uh, talk to you about HTML sitemaps. So it'll, you can ask it questions about HTML sitemaps. Um, you can ask it for examples on uh, best use cases for HTML sitemaps, SEO benefits for HTML sitemaps. It's just a really simple agent to kind of show off Taskade's features. I'm gonna actually build it again to show you how I did it. So if we head over to Taskade, and I'm gonna delete this one. And what we're going to do inside Taskade is we're going to create an agent. But before we do that, I actually created a project. What I did was I took notes that I've shared here at the SEO pub. I took my own, some other notes that I have about HTML sitemaps. I just made a project and just copied all those notes into the project. And I'm going to show you why in, in just a minute here. Then we're going to go into agents and we're gonna create a new agent. And again, you can kind of think of the AI agents very similar to ChatGPT's GPTs, but there's some features that really make it stand out. We're gonna create one from scratch, and I'm gonna call this, we'll just do HTML sitemap agent. And you can upload an avatar if you want. You can give it instructions here, which I just have uh, some set simple instructions I'm gonna give it. I would normally probably go a lot more in depth in the, in the instructions here, but this will work for, for this example. You can select a tone if you want, or just use the default tone. I normally would probably set the tone in the instructions myself, but there are some uh, options that Taskade has set up that you can certainly use. There's different languages you can use. And right now it uses GPT 4.0, or you can use 4.0 mini. We're just gonna use 4.0. And the next step, this is one of the places, this really makes Taskade's AI agents stand out compared to GPTs for me. And of course, GPTs, you can upload files that you can have it use as sort of a, a knowledge base, but Taskade goes a bit further than that. So if we enable the knowledge here, we have all these different options we can use. You can drag files into here and have it use that. You can link it up to a Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, and it'll take it'll look at all the files that you put inside that Google Drive. You can add markdown text, any kind of media you want. You can add YouTube videos. And one of my favorite options is you can add a project. So that project that we just created, we can select that as knowledge. And what's cool about that is I can keep going in there and adding notes to that project and it will update this agent. So if I have some new ideas about HTML sitemaps or new examples that I wanna put in there, I can continually do that without having to upload another file. It'll re keep rereading the project and adding to its knowledge. Uh, I mentioned another thing you can do is, is use YouTube videos. So I took, I have two uh, videos I picked out on my YouTube channel. We're just gonna copy the URL and we will add that to knowledge. And I have this one, we will add that also. And what it will do, any, this will work for any YouTube video where there's a transcript, which is most YouTube videos. And it'll pull, it'll read the transcript, use that as additional knowledge. Um, one thing you can do too, anything that you add in here, if you wanted to go back, so if you had like a file, or like let's say you used a link to a page that you wanted it to use as, as knowledge, you use this add link button, but you know that page has changed. You can actually tell it, the agent, you can retrain it and it will go out and read that note uh, or that page again and update its knowledge. The other cool thing is when you add something like say a YouTube video, I can convert this to a project. So if I wanted to take that YouTube transcript 
<clears throat> turn it into a project within Taskade, I can just hit this convert to project button. Now I have it as a transcript. Of course, you can't update YouTube videos, but I could go in and update a project and add more notes to it, um, anything else that I wanted to add in there. So we have our knowledge set. Um, tools, by default, it's gonna use web search and site reader, which is basically it'll extract and um, summarize content that you give it from, from links. You can also add a ton of other stuff in here. So Taskade has automation options, which are kind of similar to Zapier or IFTT um, to create some automations. You can ha you can give it the ability to create projects within Taskade, add tasks. You can have it send messages to Slack. Um, you can have it send emails, uh, link it up to a Google Sheet. There's a lot of added functionality you can give it. I'm not gonna do that in this example, but there's a lot of tools there you can use. And then it has commands. This is very similar to what you see in, in ChatGPT, where you can give it a command and, and write prompts for it to use. Okay, so there's two options um, here that you can use the default, which is what you're gonna use most of the time. And then there's plan and execute. Plan and execute is for more complex tasks. The agent will go through an iterative process trying to um, execute a task based on your prompt. It's for much more complex uh, tasks than what we're gonna use, but that is an option in there. I'm not gonna add any commands here for this example, but you can certainly do that. And then here's another really cool feature is you can share your agents. Now I know you can share GPTs, but again, Taskade went above and beyond. And there's two ways, two uh, modes that you can share. You can do chat only, or you can do chat and template. And the chat and template option will actually share your prompts, your the knowledge that you added to the agent that somebody can can take it and copy it if you wanted to share it, um, you know, within your own community or within an organization. Uh, you can also, of course, hide the branding, um, select you know, light or dark modes on here. And then you do have a link, so you can copy this and it will give you a link on Taskade, or you also have an embed code that you can use. So you can copy this, and I'm actually gonna put this on my site to show you how this works. Um, and I just have a page already set up to go. I'm going to change the height of this though to 600 because I think it lays out a little better. But we're gonna put this in an iframe. We'll save that. And that is everything that we needed to do. We'll go ahead and hit update. And I can exit out of that and I have the agent set up. Now these agents you can also use within Taskade. So I can use these in projects I'm working on. I can talk to them. Um, I can have chats with them just like you, you would, you know, using ChatGPT or something like that. Uh, the difference is you can connect them to projects within Taskade. So let's go take a look at what we created. I'm gonna refresh this now. And what I can do with this, this is just a really simple agent again. Um, I gave it a bunch of notes about HTML sitemaps. So I could ask it, for example, um, let's say, So let's say, can you give me examples of how a site might use HTML sitemaps and benefit from them for SEO? And what it's doing now, it'll go, it retrieved the knowledge. So it looked through those YouTube videos, it looked through the project that I gave it, using the knowledge that, from my notes, that I've put into, uh, into Taskade about HTML sitemaps. And it'll give you a summary then for the question about how they can aid navigation, they can help spread link equity, improve crawlability, um, support new content, um, example usages, then it'll go through uh, some some examples. And we can ask another question. So let's do, what are some sites that make use of HTML sitemaps? Show me the examples. And here it shows, um, talked about the New York Times, which is an example I, I used in that one video, um, how the New York Times uses HTML sitemaps. So it pulled that information. I also have some inside the project notes, there's um, some mention of, of that as well. And it talks about how they used, um, it talks about how they used HTML sitemaps on their site. So this is just a really simple agent. You could do things much more complex. You can you know, feed it tons of notes about on-page SEO optimization and then build an agent around that that will help you optimize web pages. You could build a, 
uh, agent around creating content briefs and get, feed it a bunch of notes and guidelines inside a project and then have it, when you give it a topic or whatever information you need to give it, have it build out content briefs. There's all kinds of ways that you can, you can use these agents. So the really cool thing about these agents, in my opinion, in Taskade is how you can constantly be feeding them new knowledge, new information, and not have to create a new agent or upload a new file every time. You can have it just constantly be pulling from a project that you created or multiple projects. It, you aren't limited to just one project. You could create multiple projects that you have the agent pull from. And there are a ton of other AI features inside Taskade. You can actually create a bunch of agents and build an agent team. You can have one chat with multiple agents where they'll, they'll talk to each other and um, and talk to you with when you ask a question, it'll automatically assign it to the most appropriate agent for that question or that task, and the agent will run it. Um, there's some really cool features inside Taskade. I highly, highly recommend checking it out, but it's a ton of ideas you can come up with with building these sort of tools for SEO, and I think Taskade is a, a great platform for it and kind of ahead of anything else that's out there. So that's it for this video. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the newsletter there, and I'll catch everyone in the next one.